Hi, I'm John Brosnan for Technology Voice. I'm one of the ESB um, ambassadors for the Great Electric Drive um, electric car program this year. And um, we're going to be showing you the BMW i3. We have two models. One is the, uh, the white model we'll be showing you, which is the um, electric car with a range extender. And also the uh, gray model, which is the same car, but also has DC fast charger and um, park assist. charge up the car and uh, basically I'm going to plug in the charging cable into here which is the place you would normally expect your uh, petrol cap to be. Um, so in here goes the 7 pin cable and we're going to charge it into the wall socket or the charging point here. So at my back of the car I have a standard charging cable for electric cars. And basically one end goes into the car and the other end goes into the uh, charge point here. And a question I often get asked is, well, what happens when somebody comes along to plug you out? But as soon as you've plugged in the cable, it's locked. And when your car is locked as well, the cable is locked in place. So you can't actually, somebody can't come along and remove the cable from you. To actually turn on the car, you have to have the uh, remote control somewhere near the steering column. So I usually just dump it here in the middle. And you can see there's a start stop button here, which is used for turning on the car. Turn it on first, it basically uh, boots up the system. You press it a second time, it puts the car into ready mode. When the car is ready, you can then engage drive or reverse here at the steering column. We're driving down by the, the long walk here in Galway and um, we're driving the second BMW i3. This one has a few extra features um, compared to the other one, including fast charge and uh, park assist. So if you're charging up your car at home, uh, you may have a home charging point installed by the ESB currently uh, free of charge as well. And they are 3.6 kilowatt um, points and they take anywhere from three to eight hours to charge, depending on how low your battery is. Um, the public charging points, which are around the country, there's currently actually about a thousand points between uh, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And they typically are AC charging points that uh, charge up the car in about two hours. Um, there is also a series of fast chargers being rolled out around the country. These are DC fast chargers. There's two types. One is called CCS and the other is called CHAdeMO and they can actually charge a car up to about 80% capacity in about 30 minutes. So the car handles quite differently from a normal car. Um, it's got instant torque because of the electric engine. You can go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in about seven or eight seconds, and uh, you really feel it when you push your foot down, it takes off. Um, it's quite, uh, quite exciting. A lot of people who've been in the car have said it's been the most amazing drive they've had. Just that kind of instant feel of acceleration. One of the uh, nice features of electric cars is regenerative braking. So basically when you take your foot off the accelerator, the car engine recoups energy and recharges the battery. And normally in a car, when you take your foot off the accelerator, the car kind of continues on a little bit. But with the electric car, it starts to brake immediately and it's basically retrieving energy um, through this regenerative system. So we're pulling up to the Quadrangle, which is the old university building at NUI Goy from the 1840s. And uh, they've done a nice job rendering a 3D model of the, of the building here on the navigation system. Um, quite a bit of effort, I think, probably doing that and uh, for some of the older buildings around the city as well. So far the electric car has changed a lot of my perceptions and other people's perceptions about um, electric cars in general. I think people have this idea of a clunky kind of uh, slow machine that doesn't really go very fast and probably doesn't go very far. But I think the style 
and the um, I suppose the zip and the um, technology in this car really kind of makes people feel a little bit differently about electric cars. So I hope you enjoyed our tour of the BMW i3 today and uh, keep an eye on Technology Voice because we will be covering electric cars more in the future. Thanks. One of the things you have to be careful of when you're driving the car is uh, people and animals not hearing the car. So we just had a, an incident there a minute ago where a group of uh, about eight or nine people didn't hear the car coming up behind them. And uh, I've seen this happen a couple of times with um, dogs and, and birds as well. So uh, you have to be careful. <laughs> I've had to give the odd uh, hoosh uh, to warn people that I'm coming. So I'm here at a, one of the electric car spaces. Unfortunately, there's a what we call an ice car. Um, the terminology here is the car, is, the space has been iced. Ice stands for internal combustion engine. And unfortunately, we can't plug our car in here. So we're going to move on to the next space.